know who rules the financial world? It's the Roman Empire, aka the Holy See, under the company of Jesus of 1814. The Admiralty Law, which rules all commerce worldwide, is based on Vatican Canon Law, last adapted in 1984. This law was perfected by the Roman Empire, like most other things they dominated and mastered. Whether you're in Israel or Turkey, you have to do business in the Roman Admiralty Law system, which dates back to the Phoenicians and known as the International Maritime Admiralty Law, or simply the Law of the High Seas, the sea being the source of the ecclesiastical power of the Holy See, aka the Chair of Peter. The sea is being controlled by the moon goddess Yayik, who the idolising of Mary by the Catholic Church is really all about. Remember, the Church worships Kronos, Zeus and Selene of the Greek mythology. People interested in the papacy power over worldwide commerce should start to study the papal bull Unum Sanctum, which Pope Boniface VIII brought forth in 1302. The same Pope who destroyed the Knights Templar in the early 14th century then handed their old power and wealth to the Knights of Malta in 1312 by the papal bull Ad Providum. Today all the real powerful bloodlines and beings are Knights of Malta such as Emperor King Juan Carlos of Spain, Prince Victorio Emmanuel IV. You then have Dames of Malta such as Queen Beatrix and Elizabeth Mary II all within this ancient power running this world for the papacy. The supposed Protestant divisions that are recognised by the Catholic real Knights of Malta, headed by Cardinal Grandmaster Matthew Festin, are controlled by his authority through the Alliance of the Orders of St John of Jerusalem via Geneva, Switzerland, which is the canton headed by the House of Savoy head Prince Victorio Emmanuel IV, who's not only a Knight of Malta, he's a Constantinian Knight, a Knight of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem, just as Emperor King Juan Carlos of Spain is. The sovereign city of London is known in the occult as New Jerusalem, and is run by the Crown Maltese, who took it over from the Crown Templars, aka Knights Templar, thanks to the Ad Providum Bull of 1312 by Pope Boniface VIII. All commerce and your existence goes back to the square mile for slavery via the Siesta Quo Viat of 1666, which is the collective slavery based on a number of papal bulls such as Attorney Regis of 1481 by Pope Sixtus IV and of course back to the source Unum Sanctum of 1302. I'm sorry to inform you that the Holy Roman Empire never died it just weakened for a period and is now revived as prophesied by the scriptures. You may wish to study the Congress of Vienna held in late 1814 to understand this. Incidentally, this was the same year that the Society of Jesus took control of the Holy See, which was obvious to those in the know by 1870 with the doctrine of infallibility. Knight of Malta, Heinz Kissinger, who's a DVD agent and a Sabbatean Frankist Hofjuden, told you all that to control the world you have to control finance. He told you to control nations you have to control the energy. Whilst Kissinger also told you in order to control the people you have to control the food. Note where organisations like the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organisation are based aka Rome, Italy. I suggest a study of the Rabobank of Netherlands if you want to see one of the financial sources of the agriculture and note how powerful of a private bank this really is and it's unknown to most. The nations are controlled by the Knights of Malta via the worshipful company of fuelers who control the energy sector, military and intelligentsia. The Knights of Malta utilise the worshipful company of grocers in the control of food. Finally, the financial system is controlled by the Knights of Malta through the Worshipful Company of International Bankers. 
These livery companies are ruled through Freemasonry and you will have noticed each one of the livery companies are in their own right a Freemasonic Lodge with their own worshipful master heading the Lodge as you'd see in any other normal Freemasonry Lodge. You'll also note on many of the coat of arms of these livery companies you'll see the arrow of the Knights Templar such as the worshipful company of grocers. Usually this arrow would be in black and it's all over the place in Switzerland where the Knights Templars also went to get away from the suppression just as they did with Portugal and Scotland. What you wasn't told was that a few Templars were allowed to go to the powerful Aragon Freemasonry was born from Aberdeen, Scotland in the 15th century and then by 1598 and 1599 you had this official regulation so to speak by the William Shaw Statutes. This is the original Freemasonry created by the Knights Templar of Scotland. Now you had battles between factions of Templars as well as other non-Templars. The Aragon Templars which had formed from the Order of the Calatrava and the Order of the Montesa were very much about infiltrating and taking control of the world and all of a Templar Freemasonry. The Aragon Templars were created into an order known in Spain as the Los Alambrados. This today is known as the Society of Jesus, the very order which rules the world under its Knights Templar structure of power and monitoring, taken from the ancient Hashashin of the Middle East which Ignatius Loyola had dealt with during his trip to the Middle East. This is the same ancient Middle Eastern order which all the Knights Templar derived their structures of power from as it was perfect for ultimate control and obedience. The Aragon Templars, as the Society of Jesus, brought about an order in the 18th century called the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. All the degrees were created by the Society of Jesus, even those instituted by Frederick the Great, their protector. This order was brought about in order to take over Freemasonry and do away with the competition of the Scottish Freemasons. This has absolutely nothing to do with Catholicism versus Templarism. It's pure Templarism versus Templarism. Remembering how the Society of Jesus do not give a damn about Catholicism if the truth is known. They're followers of the Saturnalian Brotherhood, evidenced by their logo of the IHS, with the H as the ancient symbol of Saturn, the god of judgment and time. They're the opposite of the worshippers of Zeus, a.k.a. the chair of Peter. They detest Zeus, and in fact they're the brotherhood of Typhon. This is interesting when you understand the connection of the House of Bourbon to the Society of Jesus through Emperor King Juan Carlos of Spain, tied in with the Farnese family who commissioned the Society of Jesus for Francis Bougier. Some may turn around and say, well in Freemasonry you also have the York Rite. I contend that the Scottish Rite is a far greater power within the Roman Empire and most people involved in this conspiracy such as Knight of Malta Tony Blair along with William Clinton etc are all Scottish Rite high level Freemasons. Incidentally Dealey Plaza where US President John F Kennedy was assassinated by Permindex under the orders of Sir John Hobson is in fact controlled by the Scottish Rite. The hit was executed on behalf of the Knights of Malta, many of whom went there to witness the event, such as Knight of Malta George Herbert Walker Bush, who's run the Deutsche Verteidigung's Dense Intelligentsia for 34 years. Can you tell me any other Intelligentsia leader who's been around for anything like that? He was also the Director of Central Intelligence for a year, just before taking the DVD command. I suggest you check their ties along with FBI Division No. 5 in the killing of John F. Kennedy and the connections to Jesuit Quebec as with most events including 9-11. The York Rite is very connected to Catholicism via the Masonic and Military Order of the Red Cross of Constantine. May I remind you that above the Knights of Malta you have the Sacred Military Constantinian Order of St. George and then you have the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulchre of Jerusalem. Incidentally, you have the Sepulchre who protect the Superior General of the Society of Jesus and the Borga Santo Spirito. 
Another protector of the Borgo Santo Spirito is the Spanish Centro Nacional de Inteligencia, who incidentally do not share any of their intelligence, unlike well-known intelligencia organisations such as MI6 and CIA. We can then go into the United Grand Lodge of Freemasonry, which is not the all-seeing eye of Freemasonry, as run by the Grand Master, the Duke of Kent. The more powerful real all-seeing eye of Freemasonry is the infiltrating Grand Lodge Ecclesia based in Vatican City, controlled by the Society of Jesus and housing lodges for both York Rite and Scottish Rite, including the Ordo Templi Orientis.